Today, we're testing out these nice Vulcan 7018s. These are the eighth inch variety. Two pound package. How much did you pay for these, Spencer? Uh, at our Harbor Freight, they were $4.99 for two pounds. So, not bad. It says it's operating current, DC positive to AC, 90 to 160 amps. Battle of cold restricts. We'll see. Low penetration. That's wonderful. It says right on the package. Not ideal for machines with low open current voltage. Wait, is that made in Asia for the low penetration? All <laughs> positions, flat, horizontal, vertical, up and over. Well, these are 7018 8 inch. 8 inch. 14 inches long. Let's see if Vulcan actually can make a good stick like that. Yep. Oh, let's see if we can open the package. They smell like bacon? Nope. Some See how they burn though. They don't get All much right. for two pounds. So I just ran some of that uh, Vulcan 7018, ran really good, um, the start was nice. Uh, some of the Lincolns I have, their S calibers, they stick a little bit, um, I don't really like those as much. Um, I've got a Hobart 7018 here, I got this in a 25 pound uh, container about three years ago now, and I'm just using the last of a month now. Um, I really like these, these were always my favorite, um, actually I like them better than the, uh, the Lincolns. I just got into trying some ESABs. I have some 316s rods you'll see in an upcoming video. We're going to try out. And, uh, so let's see how this does against the uh, Vulcan. <laughs> it's hard to do it. Came in the way. So, what are our conclusions on this stick luck trode? Uh, they run really nice. They uh, apparently hold very nice. Um, once we uh, get our macro etching done, um, I think it will come back pretty positive. Um, they do weld pretty smooth, they're quiet, electro too. Um, so I did this side here with uh, the Hobart, and then the opposite side with the Vulcan. And uh, personally, they both ran really good. The Vulcan had a little bit of a nicer start, I think. 
but um, the Hobarts are my favorite for the actual welding art quality. And uh, I ran quite a few Hobarts. Like I said, I ran through pretty much a whole 25 pound package of them so far. I think the other nice part is there is very little um, spatter, like they yeah. say. Yeah, that's they, pretty good. With my horrible welding experience, they do. And they do re-strike really well because the electro we used on this piece, I would just weld it on this piece and it re-strike pretty smooth. You just had to hit it a couple times to get the uh, ball off the end, but other than that, it re-strike pretty well. Uh, flat, ball's just fine, but uh, let's see how well vertical up and down does. So for those that don't know, don't know when you stop welding with a 7018, you get a little ball of slag there at the tip of the uh, electrode and it makes it hard to restart. Um, that's why a lot of people don't like using them. They use 7014s, which are a restrike friendly rod. They're made for sheet metal. Or they'll use some 6010s. That one has a ball on it, as you can see. Um, what I do, what I'm welding, is I have the uh, electrode in the stinger, and when I'm at the end of my puddle, I just flick it, and it knocks the ball off, and it makes it a lot easier to restart. Or what you can do is, if you hate your gloves, you can take your thumb here, or not your thumb, but your index finger, and you can break the, the ball off sometimes. Or you can uh, file it off, or you can use a set of pliers there to break it off, but I like using the flick method because it doesn't take any time. Alrighty, so we're over here at Spencer's. We're fixing to cut this baby with the good old Bauer, no, it's not Bauer, it's a Harbor Freight bandsaw. And uh, we've got some of this um, Loctite rust dissolver. So uh, we'll see how well this works and uh, whatnot. So get into it. Trying to get it as smooth as possible and get all those deep uh, scratch lines out. Which, with the tools we have on hand, is not totally possible. But as good as we're going to get. Yep. Let's see how well this uh, stuff works. Ordered this off Amazon. So we uh, just got done doing all this testing on the uh, Vulcan you know, stick rods here, 7018s, and uh, I think we're both very impressed. Um, what do you think, Spencer? I'm actually quite surprised. Um, if you haven't seen our video yet, we did do the video on the Vulcan flux core wire, and that was, uh, I would say, not the best, but it did was still was pretty good. So go ahead and check that video out. But this actually outperformed the Hobart, and I wasn't expecting that because trying the flux core wire was, wasn't bad, but I 
didn't know, think that the Vulcan Flux Core or the Stick Electrodes would actually penetrate more than they did. Um, and this is actually what, quarter inch material too. Yeah. So it actually did get a good sixteenth of penetration. And here on the table, I did a weld after, and we actually able to bend it over without any cracking on the back side. This is only eighth inch material here, so I really am impressed with the uh, rods. They outperform better than the flux core wire. So if you have a stick welder and you want to buy rods for two pounds, it's only five bucks. Um, they do have different sizes that are a dollar cheaper. So it's three ninety nine a pound. So, but definitely they are worth the money. And I just want to add one more thing. Um, 7018s are low hydrogen rods. The problem with this whole thing is that these rods come in a plastic container. Um, much like my Hobart ones, they came in a, uh, a cardboard container. And the only bad thing about that is, is it allows for um, water, you know, moisture in the air to get into the rods. This is the container they come in, um, if you haven't seen it yet. But uh, usually 7018s that are used in an industrial setting um, come in a hermetically concealed container. And uh, they are a lot better. Um, they're usually kept in an oven after they're opened, and uh, it just helps um, with the structural integrity of stuff you're welding. Um, it's code for a lot of things, military, stuff like that. But uh, for just stuff we're doing at home, you know, putting together um, metal art, you know, stuff like that, not a big deal at all. But I want to thank you guys for watching, and uh, please go check out our channel, give this video a like, and we will see you in the next one.